If you've ever wanted to work your obliques, you might have turned to the pile-off press or side planks or even teapots, love them or hate them. But my favorite oblique exercise is actually a unilateral move and a bodyweight-based exercise. This move requires no equipment and is deceptively hard. But if you regress to progress and take the time to master it, it will take not only your core strength, but also your scapular, shoulder, hip, knee, and even ankle stability to the next level. It's seriously one of the most amazing compound oblique exercises out there, and one of the most awkward feeling as you get your balance. It's the single arm rotational plank with knee drive. This rotational core exercise is an amazing way to really target your obliques and abs while also working your adductors, quads, serratus anterior, shoulders, back, and so much more. However, it's also a more challenging unilateral move than we give it credit for. If you can't control the advanced variation and perform it slowly, please make sure to use the modifications I mentioned. You don't get better results by rushing a movement or by doing a harder variation you haven't earned. The best results happen when we're intentional with our exercises so we can get more out of every movement. And you want to make sure you get all the benefits you can from this move. So what are the benefits of this amazing move? With this unilateral exercise, if you take the time to learn to control it, you'll improve your hip and knee stability, especially strengthening those adductors and quads. You'll work your obliques and abs with both the rotational movement and the crunch. Your abs have to work hard to actually prevent unwanted extension of your spine as you even rotate to face the ground. You'll improve your shoulder and scapular stability, strengthening both the muscles of your shoulder, but also of your upper back, as well as your serratus anterior. You'll feel that muscle really having to work as the shoulder blade protracts during your torso rotation towards the ground. You'll also correct any imbalances because of the unilateral focus, so you can make sure both sides are strong and working efficiently. You'll find this movement really helps you improve your mind-body connection to recruit many different muscles at once to stabilize everything. The more efficient and able we are to recruit the correct muscles to stabilize, the stronger ultimately we will be so we can run faster and lift more. And if you're a runner, this is for sure a must-do core move if you've ever had hip, knee, or lower back aches and pains. So how do you do the single arm rotational plank with knee drive? To do the single arm plank rotation with knee drive, Set up in a side plank position from your hand with your bottom leg staggered on the ground behind your top leg. You won't be on the inside of that front foot like a regular side plank, but will actually want to place the sole of your foot on the ground. Make sure your hand is under your shoulder as you set up and you're engaging your back to support your shoulder so you aren't shrugging or straining it. This is key to supporting you as you rotate. Then lift that back leg as if kicking it back and up towards the wall behind you as you rotate your chest towards the ground to counterbalance yourself. You'll reach that top hand out as if almost trying to create a line across your body from your heel to your fingertips. You should almost feel like you've rotated into a front plank position as you lift and reach out. Then pivot back into the side plank position, and as you do, you'll tuck the knee of your extended leg and the elbow of your extended arm slightly crunching. You're performing a little cross body crunch as you twist. Make sure your hand is still under your shoulder so that your shoulder isn't straining as you twist. After slowly tucking the knee to the elbow and feeling yourself pivot around that shoulder, extend back out. You'll feel all the muscles around your rib cage as well as your obliques, abs, adductors, and quads, especially as you crunch together. Move slowly so you can stabilize. Don't rush this move if you feel off balance. Now how can you modify this move if you feel your shoulder straining or adductor or groin becoming overworked? A first little tweak you can make to the move is touching your foot down behind you instead of lifting it up. This little touch to pause and balance in the movement may be all the modification you need to start. Your next modification should be off an incline. The higher the incline, the more you can reduce the resistance of the movement. As you feel stable, you can slowly lower the incline to progress the move. You may even find you combine the incline with the foot tap to start. The key is making sure you're able to properly stabilize that shoulder to really focus on those obliques working to rotate and help you stay balanced. If you like the video, make sure to like it, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe. We're posting new videos each week.